this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do this flat slip stitch join for crochet granny squares or any type of joining in crochet. I think this is a really nice stitch just for simplicity if you want something that's nice and flat. Of course you can use it in a contrasting colour like I have. I've used this for demonstration purposes however I do like the contrasting colour or if you want something really simple you could use the same colour as you've used for your border. So in this this video I am using paint box simply Aran. I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook but of course you can use whichever yarn and corresponding hook you prefer. You will also need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. I will leave a link in the description box below of the written pattern or the written instructions for this including all of the information of what I have used for this tutorial. There will also be a link for this spiralized pattern there which is also a tutorial on my channel. As always if you like my videos don't forget to give them a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section. Hit that subscribe button to be notified of when my videos go live and also share this with your friends because sharing is caring. Okay let's get started. Okay so you're going to begin by taking two of your squares and what we're going to do is have the right side facing up we're going to join along this section here. I'll also be showing you how to join the next squares onto your project like this. And then I'll also show you how to do um, across this way. So whenever I'm joining squares, I always do the columns first and then uh, go across the other way. So if we take a slip knot on our crochet hook, and then what we want to do is establish where our corners are. So in this particular granny square, we have a chain one. So this is my corner and this is my corner. If you really struggle to find where your corners are, I would suggest popping some stitch markers in just to make it easier for yourself. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this, crochet, um, this granny square first and I'm going to find that, that chain one so just before we go into the stitches and I'm going to insert my crochet hook into the front loop only. So if I was to insert it into the chain normally it would look like this but I'm just going to go into the front loop only and then on this square I'll find the corresponding chain but I'll go into the back loop only like so. I'm going to put those onto my hook and then I'm going to bring my working yarn my working end around the back like so and then I'm going to pull through that back loop, pull through that front loop and then pull through the loop that's on my hook. We're then going to move up to the next stitch and go into the front loop, into the next stitch on the other side and go into the back loop. Yarn over, pull through all of those loops on the hook. Front loop of the next stitch front loop, uh, back loop of the next stitch. Yarn over and pull all the way through. And this is what you're going to do all the way up this very edge of your work. So it just creates a really nice flat seam joining your squares together. So front loop, then back loop and slip stitch. Front loop, back loop, and slip stitch. I'm going to go ahead and work this all the way up to this corner and then I'm going to show you how to connect the next two squares. So work your way up as well, pause the video and then I'll meet you back in just a moment. Okay so I've just worked my way all the way up to this corner and now I'm going to take my next square and we're simply going to do exactly the same thing. So we're going to find that corner and go into the front loop of that corner space and the corresponding corner space and go into the back loop and then yarn over, pull through all of those loops on the hook for a slip stitch and then continue as we have been. So into the next front loop of the next stitch, back loop and slip stitch. Front loop back loop and slip stitch. So you would go ahead 
and just keep adding your squares for as many um, as you've done for your blanket. And then once you've joined all of those, you would move across and then start adding your squares this end. And then what you'll find is that you'll have lots of columns joined, but you'll have these sections which aren't yet connected. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this um, join just here, and then I'll show you how you would work across this way, because the main thing is how you work across this middle section here. So pause the video, finish working your columns, and then meet me back once you're ready. Okay, so I'm now working my way back up. I've connected my yarn just here and I just want to show you how I'm holding my yarn because you want to make sure that the working loop is to the back as you're working. So what I have done is I've actually taken the yarn, bought it around the back and then bought it through this section just here. So you want to go ahead and continue with the method that you've been doing before. So front loop and then back loop and then moving up to your next stitch, front loop, back loop, and pulling it through. So I'm going to go ahead and work my way up to this section just here. So pause the video, work your way there, and then I'll show you how we get from here to the next square. So once you get to this section, you can see that there are a few um, stitches which were a little bit elongated so what I like to do here is go into that stitch into the back loop into the front loop and then instead of going into the back loop here I will go into the front loop of this stitch like so and then just pull through and then continue working as normal front loop back loop and slip stitch, front loop, back loop, slip stitch. And then you have a nice neat join and just get by going into that front loop just here, just pulls it in a little bit and stops you having a gap on that section. So you would continue that all the way up on each of your um, rows. And then you have this beautiful flat join. So I'm just going to finish this off here and then show you what it looks like at the end. So we're here we have that flat crochet join all finished. I think you can agree it looks gorgeous. I think it's just a really nice simple way to join granny squares. Of course you can use a contrasting colour if you want or you could use the same colour. It's totally up to you. I quite like the contrasting colour. But I really hope that you have enjoyed this. If you did make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye.